In other news, after over a month and a half of orbiting the Earth, the history-making Bereshit lunar lander has now finally entered the Moon's gravitational field. And so after a six-minute maneuver performed Thursday morning, the first-ever Israeli-designed, privately-funded spacecraft is one step closer to landing on the Moon. Still, there are a few maneuvers left to perform before the lander arrives April 11th on the surface of the Moon's Sea of Serenity. Further, the autonomous soft landing in itself will be a complicated and historic feat, which if successful would be the fourth such lunar landing in history, following the United States, the Soviet Union, and China. In fact, IAI's Space Division General Manager, Ophir Doron, said that there is a significant chance that we have a crash landing, adding that it's very dangerous and it's difficult to predict will succeed. But again, at any rate, there's still about a million kilometers to go between now and then, with over five and a half million kilometers already traveled. And the journey alone has already proven to be an incredible treat, as the Bereshit or Genesis craft sends more and more selfies from its path. In fact, just this weekend, as Bereshit entered the moon's orbit, the craft sent home some incredible stills from the so-called dark side or the far side of the moon. And some of the stunning images even included a peek at the Earth from several hundred thousand kilometers away, though from that distance, our pale blue dot is more of a tiny white spot.